Hi and welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I am a marriage coach that works internationally online as well as in the Middle East. And I'm really excited to talk to you today about the best and most important thing you can do if your husband or wife has said the relationship is over, I'm no longer interested, I want a separation, I want a divorce, I don't love you, whatever it is, I'm gonna cover what you really need to do straight away. So the first thing you need to do when they share this with you is really, really listen. Don't tell them that their feelings are wrong. Don't tell them that they need to think about the children that you've got or the assets that you've created together or how financially it's gonna be very difficult if you separate. They don't need to know any of that. What they really, really need, first of all, and what you need for yourself to save the relationship is to really listen. How are they feeling? What negativity do they have about you? What negativity do they have about the relationship? What struggles do they see in repairing the relationship? So you want to really understand what they are feeling and what they're going through. Because this mindset that they're having didn't happen overnight. They've been thinking this for a long time. And so when you tell them that their feelings are wrong, that their emotions are out of control or not accurate, this is just going to send them into pushing you away, into fighting you, rather than into you collaborating and working out a way forward. So really listen, number one. Don't say to them, let's go to marriage counseling to talk about it. Now that's my personal opinion because how I actually ended up doing the job that I'm doing, and I've been doing it now for 10 years, helping thousands of marriages around the world. I have found that when you say to people, okay, let's go and talk about the relationship, all they're going to do is bring up all these negative things. You're gonna to listen to these negative things. You're gonna be fighting each one of their points, they're going to be like, you're not listening, they're going to just push you further away, and this isn't going to save your relationship. So the best thing that you can do in this situation is to make notes for yourself, mental notes, or write them down, and then address them with positive actions to change their mindset. Because let's say that I have a negative mindset about my partner, okay? And whatever it is, I am thinking he is lazy, he's controlling, he doesn't listen to me, um, we've grown apart, I no longer love him, I don't find him attractive. Could be any one of these or several of these. What he needs to do to save our relationship is not tell me that he is great, he does love me, that I should be attracted to him, that or whatever it is, none of this is going to change my mindset. My mind is made up at that moment. The only way he's going to be able to change my mindset is by taking action and acting differently against all of these things that I have in my head that he is. Because in order for someone to want to end a relationship, they have a mindset of my husband or wife is like this. So you have to show them that you are not like this negative mindset. You can't talk your way into your husband or wife changing their opinion of you. You can say whatever you like, but it's just going to go in one ear and out the other. They're not going to completely change their feelings, their mindset, their energy, by you telling them that they are wrong, okay? Normally, if you tell them that their feelings are wrong or if you guilt trip them, they're just gonna have a defense up. And this is why just going into that traditional marriage counseling and just going over the past, going over all these negative things, is sometimes gonna reinforce that negative mindset of you rather than change it. So you wanna get into action. And if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, Nicola, but what action do I take? And how do I really know what they're unhappy about? Then visit my website, book a call with me, and we can get into 
how I work with individuals to save their marriage on their own. And we will go through a strategy session of what to do to get into these actions. I cover a list of 20 most important actions that you can take to save a relationship. We will go through these together and look at what are the ones that will work for you, we'll tailor them to your relationship. I'll also ask you to provide me with information on what they're saying, any messages that they've sent you, any emails that they've sent you, so I can really understand the mindset of your partner, so that we can really make sure that we are driving your actions to save your relationship. So if you're interested in this, do visit my website. I really look forward to talking to you there.